Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tarn. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to disable applications on startup using something called auto runs. And this is by far the most powerful way to disable startup applications. Often the advice is to use task manager, which is open by pressing control shift and then escape. And then this will bring the task manager up where you can go to startup and then enable or disable certain startup applications. However, this does not necessarily catch everything. Some applications are opened by services and the best way to fix this issue is to use an application called Auto Runs. So Auto Runs is available on the Microsoft website. I'm going to leave a link to this. I'm going to leave a link to this URL in the description. All you need to do is to scroll to the kind of midway point and then click on the download here. Once I have the auto run and start zip downloaded, I'm going to click on it and right click and then use the open with and Windows Explorer. And then I'm going to copy these files by right clicking after selecting them. And then I'm going to give it its own folder here. Auto, auto runs. When I enter this here, I'm now going to paste the files. And now this will allow us to run the application. So I'm going to click on auto runs 64.exe, right click on here and then run as administrator. Once it opens as administrator, then it means that we can disable some of these logon items. So the first thing I'm going to do is to go to the quick filter bar at the top. Then I'm going to type in my keyword. So I've been having a lot of trouble with Macromoflex Updater, which starts up every time I switch on the computer. So I'm going to disable this now. So all we have to do is to untick these boxes and then the Macromoflex services and these DLLs will actually stop working. These shell extensions won't be enabled until we enable it manually. So next time I restart this computer, this macro reflector is not going to open. I can just remove this filter and then see everything else which opens too and disable them as necessary. You'll often find that there are lots of applications which you've installed in the past, which you might want to get rid of, which are gonna consume resources every time you restart your computer. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.